One frequently asked question that we get is what's the difference between a report and a dashboard? Aren't they the same thing? Well, a lot of people do use the term interchangeably, but in business intelligence, there is a difference between a report and a dashboard. Let's dig into that today, and I'll take you through everything you need to know about choosing between the two. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. Let's start with a little bit of history. One thing that I found really cool is that a lot of IT concepts typically come from something that exists in real life. For example, the idea of a file system is very much built around the concept of a file folder. And reports kind of do the same thing. A report is typically based off of the accounting idea of a general ledger, just that long flowing document. But let's get into specifics. I'm going to go with a set of criteria and let's compare how a dashboard and report works with these criteria a little bit differently. Let's look at the form factor of this. What I mean by form factor is just the way they're displayed. Reports, as you can see, are just long and flowing, multi-page. Usually they don't give you the ability to see everything that you want right on one screen. And that's typically the complaint, is that it's very hard to take in this massive amount of information. On a dashboard, it's a single page. Typically you don't see dashboards that are scrolling multiple pages. Certainly hybrids exist, but if we're keeping a simple definition, that's kind of the breaking point between the two. Now let's look at this in terms of a metric standpoint. Usually with a report, you're looking at a single thing. It's a large table that's just repeating that information, and usually it's kind of one business element that we're showing. With a dashboard, you'll notice that, especially with this executive dashboard that I'm showing you here, there's a lot of different metrics coming from a lot of different places. So I'm able to kind of give a summary of many reports in one place, rather than that large detail view that you just saw. Now, how does real time come into play? Typically on a report, reports are run, especially if you're using any legacy reporting software. It's something that is created on a schedule. They take a lot of time to create. And again, typically you're gonna export these. It's not even in a lot of cases viewed on a browser. It's actually more modern BI tools that allow you to view reports in a browser. On the dashboard side, it's completely possible to have real time because we're being more concise. We don't have to bring in and dump just a ton of data onto the screen. Performance. Because these reports are typically so large, and just the amount of raw data that's being displayed, usually if you're gonna run into performance issues, you're gonna see it on a report. It's just due to the mass amount of data. Now in something like Dundas BI, we do have in-memory capabilities, and it's certainly possible to have reports that are near real time and still very quick. On a dashboard, usually performance is not an issue. Now from a usability standpoint, reports are really good if you do need to trudge through all that data. It's usually a lot more useful to have something like this for an analyst who wants to take a lot of time and go through everything to the nitty gritty. The dashboard itself can actually get in the hands of a lot more people, just because it is a lot more of a usable form factor like I mentioned before. You create simple dashboards that give people the information they want, and if they need that great amount of detail, fine. We let them drill into it. Now, exporting, that's actually a very interesting one. Reports are typically built to be able to export in a multi-page fashion. When you export a long report, even though if you're looking at it in the browser, you only look at it page to page, typically you're exporting the entire thing because people are looking to print these. So you'd export to PDF and then maybe do a 100-page print job that's a very typical use case in a historical reporting system because the people do still want that physical copy. Now that's definitely changing. And again, that's where dashboards come in. On the dashboard side of things, when you export, it's more of an export as seen. So if I go in and I change a couple of parameters and I hit that export button, it's exporting what I have on my screen right now. More likely because I'm gonna be taking this dashboard and bringing these results into a presentation rather than archival purposes, which is typically more why you end up with these exported reports. Now data volumes, if I were to compare both of these together, most people would assume that the report has a larger volume of data. But at the end of the day, the dashboard itself may actually have more data driving it because the dashboard is showing summary elements. Each one of these charts are summarized but as I drill down and expand, I may actually have more data underneath it. So if you need to get access to a lot of information, you're actually better off starting with more of a dashboard type display 
get that simple view so it's a little bit more consumable to the user and let them drill down to what they need to see. Rather than trying to make the user drink from the fire hose, if you will, and view everything in a single report. And the last one is intelligence. Well, it's certainly possible on a report to have parameters. As an example, maybe I want to come in and see the report for only a specific country or, an, or only a specific time period. We still have to generate that report. But on a dashboard, it's certainly possible to build intelligence in so that it understands more about who the user is and what they want to see so that it can automatically set that up. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about the way intelligence and the way automatic capabilities of dashboards can work, we've created two videos that can be very helpful on that for you. One of them is on what we would call tokens, and tokens are a great way to differentiate between a dashboard and report by truly adding some intelligence to your dashboards. So check that out if you want more detail there. The other one that you might be interested in is our video on what we call row level security where you have a dashboard that's reacting to the user itself, like I mentioned. So both of those are definitely worth checking out if this is a subject that you're interested in. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.